With the NFL draft over, the Eagles still find themselves with a glaring hole at that cornerback number two spot. We need somebody that can play aside Darius Slay and, and somebody that can just basically make the rest of our cornerbacks fight for the slot position. We've heard a lot of names. Now we're dwindling down to maybe three or four people that really truly make sense. If you see my list, you're going to see that they're all young, that they're all young guys that can grow with this off with this defense. So without further ado, let's get right into it. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Joe Castro, a.k.a. Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly, the podcast, man. So check it out. I wanted to put my thinking cap on, go through the cornerbacks that are left and see who makes sense for the Philadelphia Eagles. I've been on record saying I really don't want somebody that's going to be an older guy, somebody over 30. I mean, there's people like, you know, Dequaz, I'm Denard out there. There's people like Richard Sherman out there. There's names out there that are older guys that can you know come in and be be a solid number two or you know whatever you want to call them at this age but i don't want that i want somebody that has upside i want somebody that can learn from darius life so i'm going to go over the three people that i want now before we get into that be sure to hit that like hit that subscribe if you are new or trying to hit 2000 and youtube be snitching on y'all and it told me 58 percent of you guys that are watching aren't even subscribed so please do hit that subscribe button definitely helps out a lot so we'll start with number three number three i think a lot of people have been talking about this guy makes a lot of sense he's 25 coming from the texans gary and conley i would love to see him on this team like i said he's young he's got good size he's fast he's had some decent you know years he's had some up and down years He's a free agent for a reason, but at his age, I feel like one, he'll come cheaper than a lot of these guys that we're going to talk about. And two, I think that he has a lot of upside still left in him. Some some of his years were taken away from injury. So, you know, there's a lot still left in that tank. And I would love to see us go with Gary and Kyle. Now, number two is a guy that nobody's really talking about now. And that's Daryl Worley. Now, yet last year he went through basically every NFL team he possibly could. He went through di three different teams last year. Um, and he's still very young. He's 26. He's 6'1", I think about 200 pounds. I think he ran around a 4'6", 40 uh, the last time he ran it. He has five interceptions in the five years that he's played. Over 20 pass deflections. I mean, the kids played some good football. Again, another guy that's been up and down. Obviously, he was moved around a lot last year for a reason. But I think if you give him a home, if you give him that number two spot across from Darius Slay, where, where expectations aren't huge, we're just asking you to be a, a, a second cornerback, right? You know, and, and you're going to get way more uh, safety help than we did when we had Jim Schwartz back there. It should be a better scheme. I think bringing in somebody like Daryl Worley that has in my opinion, tons of ups, upside. Um, and like I said, he has that size, speed combination. So he's another guy that I would love to see come here. Now, number one, number one, everybody's talking about this. The only reason I feel as though this is probably the most unrealistic is just because of the, the price tag that's probably gonna come along with him. And that's Steven Nelson from the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, excuse me. So. Look, I, I would love to, to see him on this team. I think that would be a deadly combo, him and, Pat, and Darius Slay. And then you you have this, you know, a, a very good front seven. Um, obviously, the linebacking core is still a question, but you have a good front seven and you have a good solid um, safety core. So I, I think that adding him would bring this team to another level defensively, 
but I also don't think that we have the money uh, to bring somebody in like him. Now, if he wants to do a quick one year prove it deal that he's still got something in the tank and maybe get a two, three year um, deal down the line, maybe that's something that we can get in play for. Obviously, he's still a free agent. So, you know, maybe there's not a bidding war for him. Maybe it's just one of those things that everybody was kind of waiting till after the draft, see where they land as far as the cornerback prospects, and then kind of look at it again. I'm still not hearing a lot of buzz around his name. Look, if it's somebody that we can steal for a cheap deal, you know, I would love to see that. So, like I said, I would my three guys would be Gary and Conley, Daryl Worley, and Steve Nelson. Now, you guys let me know who you would want who you want the Eagles to go after. Um, I mean, hey, we're just spitballing ideas at this point, right? But yeah, but like I said, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let me know what you guys um, think about this cornerback situation because I definitely don't think we're ready to go into the season with the guys that we got. No no shade to the guys we got. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Other than that, y'all know what it is. It is Fly Eagles Fly, and we are out here. Peace! Thanks for tuning in.